Hi everyone, my name is Pooja Mistry and I am a developer advocate here at IBM. I am super excited to share with you all a brand new platform that we're rolling out for developers called the IBM Developer Technology Sandbox. The IBM Developer Technology Sandbox is a new first-of-a-kind cloud-based solution-driven web platform to give developers a hands-on way to try out our technologies without the hassle of infrastructure or software setup. The Developer Sandbox provides a quick and interactive way to experience end-to-end -end applications through a lightweight browser-based experience. It has guided tutorials for developers to experience and run sample applications, and it also allows developers to modify and build on top of pre-built sample applications. One of my favorite features is that is a GitHub integration that allows developers to export all the code. Here are some sample applications that you are able to check out. We have video analysis, which uses speech to text, uh, advanced natural language processing, and tone analysis to extract insight from video files. We have a risk prediction application for bank loans, which uses machine learning to predict the risks involved when approving a loan application. And one of the most interesting applications we have is anomaly detection, which performs anomaly detection on a time series data. Let's zoom into the anomaly detection application. I'm here with Anu from IBM Research, who's going to give us a closer look. Anu, would you like to introduce yourself? Sure. Thank you, Pooja. Hi, everyone. I'm Anu Bhamidipati, a senior technical staff member in IBM Research, and I work in applying AI and ML techniques to industrial use cases. That's so awesome, Anu. I know your team has worked really hard on this anomaly detection application. Do you guys, do you want to first start off by letting us know what exactly anomaly detection is? Sure thing. So anomaly detection is a pretty well-known technique in machine learning that identifies data points or observations which significantly deviate from normal behavior. Now, it's a critical task in many applications, and it's important to be done in certain time steps so that the human can take further actions to resolve the issue. An accurate detection is pretty crucial because then it can prevent downtime of equipment and information systems, in some cases, even the whole plants, right? Now, the, the challenging part is because anomaly detection can be done in a wide variety of ways, so it is sometimes non-trivial. Uh, the most common way of applying anomaly detection is the unsupervised setting, which means that we have no historical information about failures or anomalies. Uh, and, and the most uncommon setting is the supervised case where we have such information and hence the machine can learn from it. There is a, a, a different setting in the middle, which is called the se semi-supervised case, where only a small amount of labeled data is available for the machine to understand and pick the right model, which is trained on normal uh, operating data. Now, in our team, we are focused on developing anomaly detection models for time series data. So why did your team decide to make this application an API? Yes, great question. You know, we just uh, we just heard the many ways that anomaly detection can be used. Uh, and with each of these settings, there are multiple tasks that need to be done, including data preparation, parameter optimization, validation, model selection. So choosing the right operation for each of these steps and combining them into a whole flow is a pretty challenging task for a person to do. So we decided to hide the complexities of this setup by providing an easy to use consumable API. So we exposed two APIs, one for doing anomaly detection for univariate data, which is single variable, and another one that does anomaly detection for multivariate data. And then how would you um, get started with anomaly detection? Right. So the IBM Developer Technology Sandbox is a great way to get started with anomaly detection. It provides a convenient um, browser-based experience to invoke the UI, use the sample data sets that are already packaged with it, and also visualize the result uh, in a much better way. Uh, let, me, let me take a moment and actually show you. Sure. So here is the sandbox view where we are seeing three panes. Uh, the middle pane has instructions about how to invoke the sandbox. And once it is launched, you can see the, the view on the right-hand side. As you notice here, it is a form-based view where somebody can come in 
uh, and choose the sample data sets that are packaged with it. Can also choose to apply the recommended settings, which are pre-baked into this view, and can just run the anomaly detection API to get to the results. As you can see, it offers a convenient way for somebody to visualize uh, the data and the result and, and not have to read through JSON files, which are the byproduct of calling the API. One can also maximize this view into an, a browser window of its own. So this provides a way to not only quickly iterate and understand the capability, but explore it, you know, modify the underlying Node.js code uh, for the sandbox and then deploy it in their custom application or any, any custom dashboard. Thank you so much, Anu, for that demo of anomaly detection on the IBM Developer Sandbox. If you're interested uh, in learning more, be sure to join the IBM Developer community at developer.ibm.com to try out the Developer Sandbox for free. Check out IBM Developer Week, which is happening February 7 through 9, and check out IBM's virtual booth at 8 a.m. on both Feb 8th and 9th for a detailed demo of the IBM Developer Technology Sandbox. And if you're interested in learning more about anomaly detection, Anu is actually doing a product demo on both days at 12 p.m. Pacific. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope to see you all there. Thank you. Thank you.